The first thing we need to do coming off spring ball is rest and recover. People don't rest and recover enough. That's a vital part of training and getting better is taking your, your downtime as downtime, uh, letting your body heal. And then we'll start summer conditioning. The summer is the time for all of us to get bigger, stronger, faster, and you know, in every aspect and not only you know in athletics but also you know in school. Spring practice, it did go by really, really quick. Practice was really, really fast and compared to last year we really took a lot of steps forward and the coaches are really excited about us and how we look like a team that we're supposed to look like with all the weapons that we have. Finishing spring ball, coaches did some assessments. There's some graduating seniors leaving, so we got some things to plug up. There was really no off season, a couple weeks here and there, but they're in there really slugging it out, uh, trying to increase their performance. All the lists are definitely competitive. Uh, you know, when we go in there, we understand that iron sharp is iron and that the only way that we're going to get better if we, is if we force each other to. The focus of summer is to increase the power outputs, increase acceleration, increase agility, increase speed, and trying to do all of that while maintaining the muscle that they have. You can win and lose games in the summer. Everybody's going through summer conditioning, but teams that are bonded and united as one, uh, pursuing a common cause and working hard, are gonna make up some ground on other teams. Uh, we had a great spring, but we need to use that as a platform to take off and have a great summer so we can keep the improvement going. Joey's definitely fine. He'll let you know he's there for sure, especially when, uh, you know, say you're not doing something right or you know, you mess up on something, there's no doubt in my mind that you're gonna do it over again. Uh, <laughs> and he'll let you know for sure. Joey's a great guy and has really excelled uh, with his work in the weight room. So I think people respect uh, people who put in a lot of time uh, into their craft. I've never met a successful offensive or defensive lineman who don't love the weight room, love the grind, and that's really what he's done. If your players buy into, hey, you know, this guy's trying to make me better, I think we're really getting to that, uh, and I'm excited to see this summer where it takes us, because I think it's gonna really help us. Everybody that's in there, they wanna beat the man that's next to him, no matter if that person plays, you know, defensive back, or if that person plays offensive line, make sure not only they're getting better, but that we have competition and get after it. At the end of the day, they have a year under their belt. I think we even saw that in, in the spring game. You know, guys very, very comfortable now, not only with the system, but also the coaches, the expectation you always have to continue to make a better version of yourself. Every second of the day, every minute of the day, every week of the month, it's a process.